Hey guys, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? Hi. I am awesome. Now I'm with Mark and Vincent. My name is Elle Clark from I Am Queen Magazine. Guys, you did an amazing job. But Mark, I want to ask you, like, how were you able to prepare for the role? Um, gosh, prepare for the role. You know, this is going to sound wild, but I really do very, very minimal preparation beforehand. <laughs> oh, I know that sounds wild, but uh, I think that, you know, I have such a close relationship with Gloria Calderon Kellett, our showrunner and head writer. And, um, you know, I, I really just trust her innately. Um, so I, I know that, you know, whatever I think is be is the best choice for the character, I know that Gloria is going to have some uh, incredible input that's going to maybe take me in a different direction. So I just kind of I just kind of waited to just go and have conversations with her and just be like, what do you think? And uh, sometimes they're more lengthy than others. But for the most part, it uh, as soon as she says one thing, it just kind of snaps me, snaps me right into character. And so um, I didn't really do a lot of preparation for this season. Wow, you did amazing. Vincent, was it the same thing for you? Uh, yeah, yes and no. Um... I have a very similar experience with um, as, as Mark when it came to developing Henry because Gloria is so she's so collaborative, like she leads the entire cast, and then when she's on set, like it feels like what we're doing is very much alive. These characters are alive. We're we're talking about themes that are that are actually happening right now, and we get to create this really unique and authentic connection to our audience because part of what our story is rooted in is reflecting the world as it is today, which is why we um, have so much diversity and inclusivity um, and, and multi-generational representation in our show. And um, so in that way, it's very fun and celebratory. Though for me, uh, as Henry, this season, Gloria definitely pushed me a little further. Uh, some of Henry's interests and skills come out. So I, I I did a little bit of choreogra uh, choreographing. I, I did a little bit of dancing, did a little bit of singing. There might even be some other special skills that I can't tell you about yet. That would be a spoiler, but we definitely, um, she definitely allowed me to bring more of myself to Henry and round him out as a person. And that felt really authentic to me because I know for me growing up as a young gay man who's Filipino, I kind of felt like, there wasn't anyone like me out there or I wasn't seeing myself depicted in, in stories on television or in film. Um, and so, but now that's totally changed. So now it's like, it's a whole new ball game where like, we're now starting to see more shows like with love that are romantic comedies and celebrate, you know, diversity and how different we are and accepting one another um, despite those differences. And so that's, that's been very, um, very gratifying and rewarding. Awesome. Now, before we go, what would one thing, what would one word would you use to, you know, let people know why they should watch this season of With Love? Because I, so far, what I've seen in some of the screeners, it has been, Mark, you're an awesome big brother, by the way. You guys are awesome, awesome, awesome on screen. And so um, I would one word would you give to someone who wants to watch the show to let them know, you know, this is the show to watch. Acceptance. Mm, that's good. That's good. I got. I got a. I, I had. I had one, but it's two words, but with a, with a dash in between. Heartwarming. Yes, definitely, guys. Thank you so much for being a part of this interview. Continue to keep up the good work because the show is amazing. I can't wait to see what you guys do next. Bye. Bye.